Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. In this series, we're going to be talking about the Wix Animations API, which will allow you to animate elements on your Wix website using code. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm over here in the API documentation. And if we head over here to introduction, then you'll see the basic instructions for adding animations. So the first step will be to create a new timeline using the timeline function. And then we are going to add our elements to the timeline using the add function. And last of all, we are going to play our animation using the play function. So the first step will be to import Wix animations from Wix animation. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that code snippet. And I'm going to head over to my website where I have a very basic uh, ball set up over here. And I'm just going to paste the import right over here on top level. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to need to do is create the timeline. So let's head back over to the API reference. And you'll see over here that we have the timeline explanation. And how does it work? So we just uh, declare a variable and we say that that equals to Wix animations timeline. So let's copy that right over here and paste it right here inside of my Velo code. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, in order to get into dev mode, you're going to want to go over here to dev mode and turn dev mode on uh, if you've never turned dev mode on before. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this ball. So I'm going to, right before my timeline over here, I'm just going to say let ball equal and then just select this element, ball. Okay, that way we can just use the variable ball instead of using this whole long element selector later on. So if you remember, the next thing we're going to want to do is add the animation to our timeline. So in order to do that, we need to use the add function. And the way that it works is that we say timeline.add. You can see it right over here, timeline.add. And then we have our element that we're adding. And then we have the animation itself. So I'm actually just going to copy over this basic animation that they set up over here, which will have some rotation, some scale. And what's critical is that it has a duration. OK, so you need to have duration, which is the amount of time that the animation will take. And here it's 100 milliseconds. OK, so in JavaScript, uh, we measure time in milliseconds. Um, so if you see just a default time written out, then that's milliseconds. So this would be one second, a one second animation. So I'm going to just copy over this entire code snippet right over here and head back to my website and put that right over there. I'm going to format it. And you'll see here that instead of my image, which is the element from the example, I'm going to run a put ball in here. OK, so now I added this ball animation to the timeline. And the last thing that we're going to need to do is play the timeline. So let's go back to the reference and go to play. And you'll see here that all I need to do is call timeline.play. So I'm going to head right over here. And right after my add, I'm going to say timeline dot play. And that should be enough to play our animation. So let's head into preview mode. And we should see our ball shrinking. OK, and it should rotate. But since it's a ball, you can't really see that it's rotating. Uh, so I'm going to head back to the editor. And uh, let's change this design. Let's see if I can change this to something that's not a ball. Um, yeah, so let's change it into a square. And now I'm going to head back into preview mode. And you can see that it's rotating. OK, so that's how you add a basic animation uh, to an element using Wix animations. As you saw, it was super, super simple. And we can have lots of different elements here. We could have different timelines. Uh, we can add different elements to different timelines and play them at different times. And the next video, I'll be showing you some of the additional options that we can add to the animations to make them a little more complex. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.